Okay, so this video is for our field supervisors. Now, keep in mind, field supervisors, this sheet should be used when you're going out on a job that a technician has already been to and they sold a TRD or it's a flipped lead. If you are going out on a marketed lead, you would use the service technician thermostat questions. You would not use this sheet. Or if for some reason you're going out and doing a tune-up on your own, you would also use the uh, technician sheet. This one is specifically for when a TRD is sold or it's a flip lead, okay? So first we have our customer's name. I always write down the customer's name so I don't forget it. If you run into the spouse along the way, you should write their name down also. First question we have to ask is, how did the how did John or Frank or or Mike or whoever the person's name is that was out there earlier, how did the previous technician do? Did he give you five out of five star service? Hopefully the answer is yes. Then I would say, okay, great. From the first time you've ever used our company all the way till right now, have we been giving you five out of five star service? If the answer is no, we need to fix it right now, okay? We need to fix it now. Um, we can't let this go. We cannot just go past it because we're gonna be, if you're at the house, that means this house has been qualified as a qualified lead, meaning it's it, it has the potential and the ability to need a major replacement or major repair. The last thing we want to do is skip over this question or not handle it right now. And at the closing table, when we're, when we're proposing a three, five, 10, 20, $30,000 job, the customer bring up whatever issue they had with our company in the past. We need to get that biased out of their head. So how did the technician do that was there? If they did not give five out of five star service, we need to fix it now. If that means getting your sales manager on the phone, if that means getting the national sales manager on the phone, that has to get taken care of now. Same thing with this question. From the first time you've ever used our company till right now, have we given you five out of five star service? We have to fix that now if it's not a five star, okay? Assuming we did get five stars or we got them to say, if we do something for them, it'll be five out of five stars. Then we ask the questions, okay, thank you, Mrs. Jones. And if we continue to provide you five out of five star service, we'll use our company for life. Again, we want them to proclaim to the world that they're gonna use our company for life. Because when somebody proclaims it out loud to the world, it's very difficult for them to go back on it. Next question, do you understand why I'm here today? Remember, a technician was out at this house before you. Do they know why you're there? Because if they don't, we need to build the value to understand the reason you're there today. Okay, those are the most important things that a field supervisor has to do. Keep in mind, as a field supervisor, you are like the manager or the owner going out there. You're there to handle it, right? You're going to take care of them. If somebody screwed up, you're going to fix it. Whatever that means, okay? You're the boss. You walk in there like you're the boss. You look at the customer like you're the boss. You act like the boss. All right, then assuming we get past all that, we don't leave the thermostat until we get all this information done, over with, and fixed. We might have to leave before we move on. Like we might have to get our manager out on site at another time before we move on. Assuming we get through all those questions, how long have you lived at the home? That's a good question to know. How long do you continue to live at the home? It's good, especially when they say like my forever home or we're gonna sell soon. These are all good information. These will handle objections later. What do you keep your thermostat set in the summer? What do you keep your thermostat set in the winter? Do those temperatures make you comfortable? Again, some people keep their thermostat set at a certain number 
And that's not what keeps them comfortable. They're just trying to keep their utility bills low. So we asked him the question, does that keep them comfortable? How do you feel about your utility bills? I'd like to know if they think they're high, if they have seem like they've gotten higher over the years, whatever the case may be. Are there any hot or cold spots in the home? Ask the question. I know a lot of field supervisors skip this one because they don't know how to fix it. Well, if you don't know how to fix it, somebody on the Service Today team will know how to fix it. It might mean putting in a mini split. That might be putting in a humidification system. That might be adding duct work. That might be putting in an electric wall heater. I don't know what it is, but we can fix it. We are a full-blown heating, ventilating, and air conditioning company. We can fix it. Uh, last question, are you comfortable with the humidity year-round? Is it too dry in the winter, too dry humid in the summer? Now, the technician before you should have asked their thermostat questions and you should have read them before you went to this house. So you should know some or all of the, a lot of this information already, but we're there to build rapport and we're there to fix these issues. But if the technician before you did his job, you should have a heads up on almost, uh, pretty much every single one of these, you should have a heads up except the this top one, okay? So that is the field supervisor questions.